Hey everybody, welcome to Precision Machine Shed. What I have here today is something I need a little help with. So I recently picked this up with a little mill I bought. <clears throat> uh, it's obviously a little benchtop milling machine. But I'm not quite sure exactly what it is because I didn't get the top with it. <clears throat> so if anybody could help me figure out what this is exactly, I would greatly appreciate it. The closest thing I can find to it is a G0704 Grizzly, I believe. <clears throat> the table is 7 and an eighth by 27 and a half. And uh, there's a nice little rotary table mounted on there, but looks like somebody did an extension here. Uh, one of the cool things, it does have DRO scale on both the X and the Y. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, not the Z. But uh, a couple things about it. I'm just trying to figure out um, everything functions on it. Except there's only there's a plastic knob on this side. There's not one on this side. And um, <clears throat> the main thing I'm trying to figure out is so the spindle is a more appears to be a Morse taper two. Uh, it's not an R8. And then also I'm missing the entire control panel for the motor. So I'm assuming this is a DC motor. And um, i just kind of like to figure out how exactly this guy could be wired up or what I would need to wire this up. Two reds, they go up to the top here. These two blacks go into the motor. And then this yellow, I don't know if that's a ground. And then the brown, I don't know what that one does. But um, the brown appears to possibly go in the motor too. Um, this appears to be the yellow that goes to a ground so um, if anybody can help me get this thing working because it it is a splined belt that drives directly onto the spindle or the quill so <clears throat> this is just a grease cup for the uh, up and down feed but I'd kind of like to get this thing going I'm obviously missing the whole cover assembly here I got this relatively cheap um, but if I could get it working, it'd be a nifty little, uh, you know, benchtop milling machine. It's actually, you know, pretty decent for, well, I got it for cheap, but, um, it seems to be a pretty decent little machine within its capabilities, of course. But, um, <clears throat> if anybody has any ideas what exactly this thing is, I thought maybe an Enco because it's got, uh, the blue paint, but, and then the other thing is, it kind of looks like a precision, I think it was a Precision Matthews 25, it kind of looks like that. I mean, these all kind of look the same, and I know, uh, you know, several manufacturers probably made these things and badged them themselves as whatever name they wanted it. But if I could kind of figure out what exactly, what exact make and model this machine is, I can maybe source some parts or get an idea of what I need to have on here, because I'm not quite 100% sure. I need a draw bar. Um... The one thing I did find on the very top, I don't know if it'll show up, but there's a date mark on there of 5 of 97. So that puts it around, you know, 97, 98, which makes me think again, Enco, but um, I don't know. And these, these scales are uh, round. They're not, uh, let's see if I can pull one off here. They're just a round bar with the gear on the bottom. So, <clears throat> or it's a rack and pinion type thing, it appears to be. So anyways, if anybody can help me figure out kind of what this thing is and help me get it running, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I have my little Rust Knock Mini Mill, but this thing obviously has a little more capability and it would be nice to get it uh, working again, so uh possible cnc thing maybe but probably not today there there's a nice bison uh morse taper two uh holder in there i got a set of those for it so um anyways if anybody could help me out please leave a comment below and uh or shoot me off an email and any information on this thing would be greatly appreciated and anything i can do to help get it running i would appreciate it so 
A uh, couple last things. The quill travel on here is about two and three quarter. There's a little knob on there. Uh, the covers, there was two bolts here and two bolts on the other side. And it looks like there's little indexing things here that would help index the cover a little bit and then clip over the back. But there we go. Again, anybody help me out, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, so till next time, take care and see you guys later. Thanks for watching.